Hey y'all, it's me, Laura B at Craft and See with Laura B. Excuse me as I move my chair. How is everyone today? I am good. It is Sunday morning at, well, 0556. Excuse my nose. Hang on. I've, uh, well, I've been up for over an hour. Anyway, excuse me. And so, you know, it is what it is when you're up first thing in the morning, pretty much. Anyway, I wanted to get this filmed before I lost my nerve. I have a few things lined up and ready to go, basically assemble. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. But first, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I have done. This pocket, I'm going to use one of these tags. Actually, let's use this. I uh, obviously made a pocket and it does like to stick. There. Uh, so I have this, um, not vellum, acetate that's printable. But apparently I have the wrong side. Anyway, alright, so I made this pocket and I did the decorative edge. I have these really cool scissors, and then I found out how they work. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, here is what it looks like. Sure, it can be seen. Yes. Okay, I'm over there. I had my. I don't know if I have my iPad set the right orientation, or I'm just tired because I'm confused. So, in order to do what you would normally do a pocket with. You hold them in here, and it gives you that decorative edge. But here, if you turn them over, and I realized this by accident when I was playing around, it gives you the inverse. <clears throat> so I tried it on a pocket, and then glued acetate, glued it onto acetate to make a pocket, um, which is kind of hard to see right now because I don't have anything in it. I do plan on, I've cut out another pocket and I do plan on, on doing that. But first, with this, but first, I want to show you, move my journal out of the way, which she is not chunky. She doesn't like to stay closed just because of the binding, but look, see, she's not chunky. At all. She just doesn't stay shut. Yay me. So let's see if I can keep it. Now what we did this last time, um, the last video I think it was, I started this travel notebook uh, photo album. And I wanted to let you know I finished it. Candace asked. Here's the inside cover. I lightly decorated the pages. But I did make these, all of these hidden pockets. So here's one ticket, or one tag. Let's see if I can get this back in here right away so I don't have to spend the whole time putzing around. All right. Here's another one. And this, I really liked the scene, so I just glossy, or stickled and then glossy accented the light fixture to make it stand out. But I just couldn't, and I like that too much. Here's another one. No, I did use some um, bees and stuff that I had on hand because it's summer. I have this fabric of which I have a little swatch out. It looks like this. It's basically, I have a bunch. They're like several colors and they're just this polka dotted ombre effect and so I used them I like how it brought out the yellow oh, no, I already looked at this one I liked how it brought out the yellow this one I used that together and made it an up tuck back to this and here's the New York hotel luggage these are all so well collaged, these papers, that 
truthfully, you don't have to do a lot to it if you don't want to. Here's this one. Some book page and that little pretty lace I've been talking about. And there we go. And here's the closure in the back. And then I took the leather. I think I did this on camera. So leather. I meant to put this, flip it around so this that you can't see through as much would have covered that, but oh well. Close enough for government work, right? Alright, so here are three of the tags that I did yesterday. I hope this can be read. I don't want to turn off my happy light, it provides me a lot of light. But anyway, it says on the road again, you know. Dun 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 dun. Just can't wait to get on the road again. There's that one. This one I tried to go simple and just a few stipples. I don't really like how that is in that hydrangea. And this one, book page, backing paper, and then um, the journey word along with the humming bird I had. All right. The other thing I want to do, and we can do it real quick because it's really all ready to go, is I made, I took the watch band or luggage strap and I backed it with just some coffee dyed, tea dyed paper, coffee dyed papers, usually what I do. And then um, I cut everything out and I did two different things to it, cut everything out, backed it, cut everything out. Went around the edges with the champagne ice metallic luster. And I punched out these holes with my Japanese screw punch. I had to cut everything apart to achieve my vision. I cut them. It's going to be a belly band. This is going to be a belly band. It's going to go right on like this. Or like this. However I wish to put it. And it is just just enough. However, we're not done because the time has come this. where this is going to go over. It comes into the second one. So basically, y'all are just here while I assemble it. I'm going to stick this part through here. No, the other way. I knew something wasn't looking right. I had this all figured yesterday. I don't know, I gotta figure out how to put it back there. It comes in through like this. Like that, and then up from the bottom. Come on. So what have you, what, how was your weekend? I should ask. This is, you're going to see this on Monday. Obviously. Uh oh. There. Just like that. And I'm going to get my glue out. And so I can tack it down as I go. Anyway, how did, uh, what did you all do this weekend? I have not, actually, I've kind of relaxed this weekend. Just a matter of getting this set in here just the way I want it. There we go. Put a spot of glue back here. to leave probably pause you in about 15 minutes or so to go let the chickens out of bed chickens out of bed chickens out of bed there it is now it's trying to remember how this went I'm gonna go like this 
that I had to in order to achieve my vision of being able to run this through the straps. I think it went something like that. I'm going to make it go something like that. Whether or not it did, I'm going to make it do it. So yeah, it's been pretty relaxing. Um, it's Sunday, so Joe has his routine. smarter this time. What do you think if I curve it around like that? Yeah, I think that'll go better. It, at least I'll keep it from sticking out there and getting caught on things. What I don't want to, to, to do. Like I said, it is early here, but I took a couple days off. I haven't filmed for a couple days. I've been not today. Not today. Naughty comet. And yeah, you see how I did that? say that anything too exciting has happened. I know stuff has happened, but what they are, I mean, just life, you know. Oh, Joe's plumbing and his tub has decided, and his tub has decided not to drain very well. So, you know, I did all the things that I know to do, you know. Plunge, 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 baking soda, vinegar, blah, 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 nothing. Um, went out and got some Drano, you know, ended up having to, having to, uh, you know, bail out the tub. And then uh, to do the Drano Max again, hoping that would work. Plunge, 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 even though you're not supposed to. I'm just smart about it and keep my face out of the way and, you know. And what else? So that didn't work, and I had uh, grabbed the uh, coat hanger that I had. I never even cleaned up his bathroom. Never even got everything out of his bathroom. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And this was on Friday. And it didn't work at all. So I let his brother know, hey, by the way, these are all the things I've tried. <laughs> what do you expect? Well, what do you want me to do next? Neighbors don't have a, what do you call it? A uh, drain snake. So David came over. He had to call a plumber. Plumber will be here on Monday. So there we go. And let's, what did I just do with all those pretty little tags that I just shown you that I did? I'm still recording. Okay. Just like all of a sudden you get these like, ah, I'm not recording. I forgot to hit the button. I really dislike it. I do this to myself all the time. Oh, there they are. I put something somewhere and then immediately cannot remember. So this will hold a very large drawn tag. Like that. That'll go nicely there. Isn't that pretty? That worked with the 3D. 
There we go. So now our luggage band is holding that in there. Luggage strap. Alrighty then. That was all I needed for that one. Where did I want this one to go? Right here. I believe is where I'm going to put this pocket. So I have already cut it at, I believe, three and a half by five. Yep, three and a half by five. And I'm gonna score it uh, a quarter of an inch on the sides and the bottom only. There's a little thing. I, I think I told you last week about, I must have, about how my neighbors had to cut down their big old apple tree. I didn't go over yesterday and get any apples. Kind of want to try my hand at making apple cider. You know, free apples and everything, but I don't have, I left my stock pot in the storage at my old apartment, so that's not going to help me any. Cut that at three. And all I'm going to do on this is fold, and then I will, uh, Looking for my uh, folder. It is early, so I'm trying having issues with my thoughts, forming coherent words. Oops, stop. Okay. One more, one more. I'm not very good at this kind of thing. So. I never do very, very well at this kind of thing. Okay. Now that I have the pocket in its form, the way I want it to be, let me move this. scissors thing. So these are the shapes that I have. I have a couple of the same, so I'll try to stay away from those. And there's the Regal, which I've already used, I think. No, I use this in Nostalgia. I use the Nostalgia on that one. And then here's just a corner rounder. And a jean. So those are my, oh, that's where that went. So these are the only corners that I have. And what did I think that I wanted to use this time? Um, the blossom. Let's try this regal. First of all, do the obligatory, am I going to like it? Snip. Let's try to find something that isn't. Now, I'm going to like that shape. What I'm going to do is, in its folded shape, just like you're going to want to glue it down, I just slide it in here and make sure it's as square as I can get it. And then cut. And cut. This, these were part of that uh, stamp hall and tower in the same place I got the desk. time. There. And what I did here is I went through and just cleaned up these sharp corners. So that nothing showed. Alright. At this point, I need to ink. And I'm really liking the sepia 
or sienna, excuse me, sienna, because it is like sepia tone for, uh, you know, antique vintage. So it gives you that vibe, in my opinion, without grunge. Not that grunge does not have its place. But if that's not the look you're going for and you want more vintage, I like this sienna. I've used it a lot. I feel like my little ink pad needs a little refill. All right. That. Now we'll stop this video in about 10 minutes and go let the chickens out of bed. Chickens out of bed. Chickens out of bed. But I felt, oh, felt really bad. So I was trying yesterday to see if I could fix that automatic pet door that is not automatic. Um, I got it from Shine. Because it's the same thing you get on Amazon, only half the price or a third of, and it was, but it didn't work. By the time I could get somebody to help me install it, it was too late to return it, and it just doesn't work. Anyway, so I was trying to fix it last night and see what I could do, and... And I left the chicken door in the down position. I didn't go out to put the chickens to bed last night. You know, it's about quarter till nine. Or quarter till eight, actually. They're on a bed early. Um, there. That's how that's going to look. And I like it. So, all I need to do... It's like four and a quarter... Four and a half. That is just under four and a half. Sorry, I'm trying to quietly measure. Um, go out, put the chickens to bed, and they're all milling around outside the coop as I get closer to it. And I realized, oh my gosh, I left that door shut. Oh my gosh, I did not. Just trying to get a pencil. I left the pet door in the down position. So then I had, you know, opened it. And then it was corralling the chickens who do not like to be held. Trying to get them in exactly where I want them to be. So that took a few minutes. I felt, I just felt horrible. So anyway, I'm not letting them out until it's well lit out there. And so they, you know, it's cooler this morning and I don't want them to get cold er you know of course I've got a couple in molt you know Rody is looking pretty pathetic indeed I'll try to get a picture of her all right hopefully this is on camera, although you know all I'm doing is that So I traced, I did this on that tracing paper and I'm just making sure I have the right way. This one won't be as bad with the gluing as it was on the, with the acetate. Thank you. Anyway, so I felt really bad they left before, you know guys were cold we're ladies out there and I'm it's just lollygagging I do want to get a good seal on the edge and I really hope I'm in frame Sure, I like the acetate or the thought of it. It just didn't. Well, first of all, I didn't take into consideration the warp factor. And I'm not talking to make it so warped.
make sure I think Debbie's on the same side. Nope. Okay, see how it kind of warps. I didn't take that into consideration when I did it. And so then I just glued it straight on and So we'll glue in by these, just like you would any other pocket. I told you about the neighbor's tree going down. Oh, that's right, apple cider. But I just don't have all I've never made apple cider before. I can plenty of applesauce, but not apple cider. I don't have a stock pot in which to, you know, start the cooking process. I don't have, I have an old 80s, if that early, um, that late, I should say, uh, blender, but not one of those heavy-duty ones. So I'm kind of at a loss you know, I want to actually, I want to can it. Um, I have plans for what I would do with it, but it's a lot of work. Peeling the apples for me is the worst part. Um, a lot of work, especially when you don't have the equipment, all of the equipment you need. And I'm not going to drink the apple cider myself. Eh. So this is, I'm not gluing down these corners at all. Just where it folds over. And there's your cute little pocket, and I like it. I like it a lot. We'll put one of these new tags in there. All right, see, we're sailing through everything. I may get it done. May, may, may. All right, now's the hard part. Now is the collagen part, and I have done some of this. I have pre-set up some of this. Like this one, I accidentally glued these down before I thought about it. This one doesn't have anything yet. And whatever I had planned to put on it is gone, because well, that was yesterday, and I've slept since then, and on and on and on. And this is more assembly line. Now, I again with the B thing, I just like the B. I didn't realize I'd already done something extremely similar. Let me find. Okay, I just did that one. But I did put the honey pot. confusing myself. It's early, but not that early. Right? I mean, I've been up long enough that it's not. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I did forget to show you. You know, I did this, which we all saw. I did that one. With my tea dyed, and I'm leaving this envelope in here for now. This week's challenge has something to do with envelopes. I need to research it a little bit. Oh, that was... There. Got it off kilter going in. And then, the only design flaw I've found so far is this right here gets caught up under this right here. Figure out how to fix that. And then here is this one. <clears throat> there is a little one that I, I keep wanting to use. I really wanted to put <laughs> trip right here, but I just couldn't make it work. <laughs> I did, but I haven't figured out how to use that yet. But a little tongue in cheek was. 
don't need to do. So we've got that. <clears throat> Like I said, I'm doing more assembly line. It's very hard for me to see in here exactly how light it is outside with the lights on. I like to turn the light off, obviously, but. And the reason I did this and had things kind of picked out and mapped out was because I'm so notoriously slow when it comes to collaging and what to go here and there. And so I'm like, you know what? Do a little mini craft and chat. And this little bee guy, I just love him so much because he looks so whimsical. Like, do 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 do. I'm just gonna come over here. I'm gonna go cute, cute, cute bee. What is um in the bug's life? The caterpillar. That's what he reminds me of. You know, I'm a pretty princess. Or whatever it says. I watched it fairly recently. I hadn't seen it in years. Yeah, I only had one child. No grandkids. So it's not like I go back and watch these Disney slash Pixar movies often. There. I just like that. I really like how this fabric brings out the yellow and everything. Okay, let's kind of assemble this one. Now, this one took a little bit of a time trying to decide what I wanted to do. But I like the big suitcase. I really like the big suitcase. And, you know, if it wasn't too on the nose, I was going to do the luggage. But I feel like I need something more. take very long to heat up but on that note I'm going to pause you and be back because I gotta let the chickens out of bed be back soon and I'm back chickens fine everybody's fine mm. Isabel got herself a small critter I, mean, I think I can go out on a limb and accuse her with you know without video camera proof and all that stuff and a written confession that yes I was the one who who got a hold of the baby opossum so I had to take care of that well, it is it happens all of this ironing just to decide whether or not like Good morning, you filthy animal. Yeah, good morning, you filthy animal. <coughs> Excuse me. Good morning. You can go lay down. You can go lay down. It's not time for anything else. I'm going to finish this video. Not, no, not time for anything else. Good girl. I didn't mean no, I wouldn't pet you. I just meant no, don't lick me. Because she don't. Oh, she just licks and licks and licks and licks. Licky, 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 loo, licky, loo. Okay, I'm liking this. I like this. Because I like it down like that. Let's see if I can hear it. Baby. I'm just really liking these this fabrics. And I have a I have a bunch of it. Most of them are strips <clears throat> for quilting, obviously, but. I like it, like it, like it, like Oh, yes. I like it much better. And I'm trying not to, you know, overload the tags because there's so much yumminess on them.
I tried to do it this way on another card and it didn't work as quite as well as I had hoped. I ended up, you know, having to put it back together. forgotten I'd uh, put the lid back on it. It feels like it's wanting to sprinkle and I wanted to get the lid back on that because I let it burn down all the papers and everything burned down really well in that barrel yesterday um, I, for, uh, so I could use the ash dust bath for the chickens. What uh, one of the ladies at the feed stores here in town had said to do, because they, you know, they like dust baths and and ash does really well. Never heard that before, but then you know I'm new to chickens and. If you got 27 chickens, you might be doing something right. I'm going to go in a straight angle with this one. So where are all you all in this challenge? I have not talked about it. It is, uh, I'm a guest design team member for Suzanne over at Nonstop Paper Crafts and Natalie at Line Dot Arrow. Their new collab kit, Final Days of Summer. Uh, 32 pages from both of them. 16 in color and 16 in sepia tones. Along with freebies in the groups. Uh, Line dot arrow, and they have weekly challenges. We're not touching. This was week two's challenge. Where was my week one? Week one is still here. It's still here. Week one. It was the um, traveling suitcase. So I made it to where you normally kind of open it up like this, and it's an ephemera holder. Suitcase of ephemera holder, so I just put some ephemera in there. And then there's pocket, pocket, these mini pockets. And then I uh, did the faux leather strips, which is why they have the coordinating there. Used these really cute, pretty brads in the blue to pick up the blue. And then went back off camera and used the same leather and Cut out the handles, the matching handles. Just didn't look right having paper handles in that. So, um, week three is going to have something to do with uh, envelopes. I just have not researched it. I will be doing that right after I'm done with this one. Sorry, I have to wipe my nose. Seems like there's like a lot of things I can talk about and then I'm on camera and then they all flee my little bitty head. More and more coffee. Drink more coffee, please. If anybody remembers that. A little bit of movie quote that I bastardized. I use my, you know, various, this is the bubble paper, you know, the water, food coloring, soap, straw, blue bubbles, that kind of thing. Now, this one is the one, obviously, I had not, 
I've done a whole lot with. Got a lot of cheesecloth here, travel. I might have to get out some of that leather. I need to use the leather inside here and tie it all together. I'm thinking. Sorry that I'm quiet, but I'm thinking. I'm going to put some of this in here because I harped it so much. Let's straighten this one again. Um, let's see what else do I want to say. So this is the third week we'll be doing something with um, envelopes. And... Then the fourth week, next week, not this, you know, not that starts today, the final week of July is when they're going to have a, it's the final week to wrap everything up. So if you didn't get to week just one challenge done, not to worry or too over much because you still have time to uh, finish and get your entries in. Um, if you're a part of Haystack Creations Facebook group. You can um, post photos and our videos in, to enter there. You can also in the Line Dot Arrow group. Um, Sweet Pea Papers, Terry at Sweet Pea Papers. You can join her Facebook group. So there's three different club groups, clubs, Facebook groups that are taking part in this this collaboration and that will have freebies on each of their group and you can enter for more chances to win because every Facebook group, every creator that is involved in this um, is doing their own giveaways on their own channel. So multiple ways to win. Definitely, definitely head on over to line.arrow um, either on Facebook or Kofi pages, Kofi. I don't know how to say that correctly. Kofi, I think it is. I don't know. Y'all have to come school me. Guess I better figure it out. And get mine set up. And get mine set up. Anyway, so yeah, it's great fun. Lots of beautiful, wonderful, imaginative things going on. Was listening for a chair blade and trying to think of one more thing that I can put on here. Let me talk to you. Mm, it did kind of work. I'm sure, I'm certain it wasn't going to work. I think I'm almost out of this fabric, and I don't even know what it is. It's like, I don't know my fabrics. She's fabric. Make an arbitrary cut. Just cut it and move on. <laughs> Maybe I get to use that right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't mean to be rude and gross with sniffs and everything, but allergies first thing in the morning. Yay me. And I apologize for not being here on Friday, but I got the rest of that carpet bagged into the dumpster and my hands and my knee were shot. Especially, oh, 
I don't know what hurt worse, my hands or my knee, I don't know. Everything's getting better, but, you know, it just takes time. I'm just going to call it and say I'm going to like it there. And that's just how it's going to go. And get ready to fill my glue. Anyway, it was just, I did that on Thursday, and there was just no way I could get a video up. And even Friday, I was low up. I did meet my new friend Kayleen. We met at the park here in town. Both of us have a pretty, uh, I don't know if you call it severe. We have a lot of social anxieties. You know, leaving the house and blah, 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 the good stuff. And so we met just up the street at the park. We're going to meet at this cute little, oh, I think it's cute, cute little cemetery up the way. But I told her, I said, I just, my knee is not going to allow me to stand. There, You know, there's no bunches. It's a little tiny cemetery. There's not much in there. And there's nowhere to sit. So we met closer, just up the street from me. That park had nice benches and some shade. And is your girl got to be admired? You know. She likes it when people admire her for her beauty and take time to recognize. You know how they are. Well, yes, I am a friendly doggy and I do like everybody and everybody likes me. That kind of thing. Because the Netherlands are right there. Right there. I like it. I'm putting a ring on it. Dang it, but first I'm going to ink around it. One thing I've noticed about this these inkers that I found a part of this haul. I'll get them out in just a second. There. Is it for waterproof? They seem to bleed. I'll show you in just a minute. I like it. I like it. Alright. So there was something that I did that I... I was trying to remember. Um, I think it was in here. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Pardon me. Right here. This mat, this stamp is, and the letters are actually clearer and crisper than what this ink does, even though it's, and maybe I'm not understanding what it is. Let me open up this drawer to the back. It's this ancient page, acid-free archival waterproof dye ink. But when it you stamp on it, it spreads. And I'm not sure why. I, I dislike that. So all I can say for now is it great it's great for edging. Anyway. So Candace, you got to see all the little tags out of there. Here's the tags. That one. And that one, the others are in here. We'll just go through and So what did we do today? What did we do today? Today we just finished a couple of tags. Showed you some of the latest in here. Okay. I'm gonna to try to leave this more of a writing journal again. We did this belly band, which I really like. It turned out it did exactly what I wanted it to do. Within, you know, a little tweaks. I was hoping to to come up through the paper, like, you know, 
instead of having to cut everything out and gluing it individually, but it just wasn't going to work. I could not figure out how to get that to work. But I do like it. I like the 3D image that it gives. Enough to make you kind of look twice at it, I think. I think. I'm not even thinking about it. Oh, there's that tag. That pocket. Got it, come on. There's a little pocket there. We did this pocket, which I really like, and I will replace this card with something else because that just doesn't go there, if you ask me. All right. No more pockets there that need to be filled. Can you imagine if I just like finished this without doing many, much more pockets or anything? Just how, here's what I was looking for. How much writing space and you know, whoever gets this can fill it up with. And then, so there's that, 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 and I showed you this. And my last remaining tag I'll find a home for. Um, and we still have more to go on this. I'm not by any way saying I'm done. But I'm just going to try to rein it in a little bit. Rein it in. Go oh, to the horsey. Whoa, horsey. Um, anyway, if you like what you have seen, please, please, please um, hit that like, that thumbs up. Uh, drop a comment in the comment box, box, even if it's a little happy face. Thumbs up, what have you. Um, subscribe if you haven't, share with your friends. Um, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all my new subbies. And I have a new one, and it's a, a name that I shouldn't have forgotten. Cause you know how I am, you know how I am. Because it's, it's like I've heard this name. It's like, you know how you know people, or you know of people, and then you put two people's names together, and you shouldn't forget it, but then you do. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Diane. Shoot, I hate it when I do that. I am just notoriously bad at names. And I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Um, thank you. I, I appreciate it more than I can ever, ever adequately and concisely and cogently um, state. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll let you go because I'm, yeah, it's just coming on seven, but I'm still asleep. So on that note, um, until the next time, I bid you adieu and peace out. Bye, guys.